Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture. In this session, we are going to discuss about the dynamics of fluid fill catheters. So, in brief, we will see what are the uh, various parameters that are used to uh, measure the blood pressure that govern the blood pressure. So basically what is a catheter? Catheter is a hollow tube which is inserted into the body. Maybe it will be inserted into the kidney or inserted into the blood vessel to drain out unwanted blood to measure the blood parameters or physiological parameters of the blood. So basically when when you want to inject a fluid, drain a fluid or measure any parameter inside the body these catheters will be used so uh, the fluid filled catheters the purpose of naming this uh, device as fluid filled catheters is that the fluid will be filled inside the catheter basically saline will be filled inside the catheter and then uh, the blood when flowing through the catheter will hit the saline will meet with the saline and the pressure wave will be generated this pressure wave generator will be transmitted to the other end of the catheter where the transducer is connected this transducer collects the pressure wave and it measures the pressure wave both the systolic pressure and diastolic pressure so basically this is the principle of fluid filled catheters so come see the step by step parameters that are measured by the catheter so when we say about the dynamics of the fluid fill catheters dynamics means the parameters that change uh, in the real time uh, real time process it's not about acquiring data and then measuring the pressure or something it is the transducer which monitors uh, pressures like systolic pressure diastolic pressure the vascular resistance of the wall everything uh, so that uh, dynamically uh, dynamic it changes with time these parameters uh, are measured as and when it changes with time so the blood pressure measurement parameters basically they are systolic and uh, diastolic pressure so when we say about systolic pressure it indicates how much pressure our blood is exerting on the artery walls when the heartbeat is there so it is the pressure exerted on the artery walls when there is heartbeat that is systolic pressure when we say about diastolic pressure it is the pressure exerting against our artery walls when the heart is resting between the beats when there is a uh, rest between when there is a gap between heart beats some amount of pressure will be exerted on the arterial walls so that is diastolic pressure so usually the range of systolic and diastolic pressure is 120 mm of systolic pressure bar 80 mm of diastolic pressure that is the normal range a standard range uh, a standard uh, point uh, which, indi which indicates that the individual is healthy so when you go to mean arterial pressure uh, it is a combination of both uh, systolic and uh, diastolic pressure it is the sum of one third, one third of systolic blood pressure and uh, two third of diastolic blood pressure so the range should be 70 to 110 this is the common range of the mean arterial pressure which should exist in a blood so this is uh, blood pressure waveform as i said this there are the two parameters systolic and uh, diastolic uh, pressure here the regions of systole and diastole are marked by blue dotted lines if you can see here so diastolic pressure is the lowest pressure and systolic is the highest pressure so if you can see see the first cycle of the waveform here it starts from diastolic blood pressure and reaches systolic blood pressure which means this rising pattern shows that the pressure increases on the arterial walls the pressure increases and flows into the aorta so that at the maximum pressure the ventricular contraction occurs and the blood releases to all other portions of the arteries where the pressure decreases slowly if you can see this mouse pointing here first the pressure increases so that the blood is filled into the aorta and at maximum pressure blood is released to all other parts of the body and then this is the point where the entire systolic pressure has been exerted on the arterial walls and the aortic wall closes so here the blood flows out of the aorta blood is flowing out of the aorta and and distributed to all other parts of the body here the pressure is greater because the blood is uh, getting filled into the aorta 
and the pressure slowly at this point the pressure starts to decrease because it is ready to distribute the maximum pressure of the blood to all other parts of the body so at the dichrotic notch the pressure falls down as the blood flows out of the aorta blood is pumped out and the aortic valve closes and the distribution of blood all over the body takes place this is the split up of systole and diastole how the pressure increases and uh, pressure decreases and again the aortic wall opens when again the blood wants to fill into the heart so this is the operation of the blood pressure measurement so this only happens this is the parameters that are me being measured in a fluid filled catheter which is a easy and a direct way of measurement so other some other important parameters the stroke volume stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped out of the aorta after each ventricular contraction that left ventricular contraction and heart rate is the number of beats per second so what is cardiac output it is a product of stroke volume and heart rate which is usually the 5.6 liter per minute which means that blood is pumped out of the heart i mean the volume of blood pumped out of the heart is the 5.6 liter per minute so this is the actual representation of the fluid fill catheter i was uh, talking about in the introduction part so if you can see this is the, this tube is the catheter to fluid fill catheter this fluid is basically saline and this end this tip which has been enlarged here it is a the tip is made up of biocompatible gel so that biocompatible gel is anti thrombogenic which means uh, it does not allow blood to clot in that region so thrombogenic means uh, thrombo means blood amount thrombogenic means uh, blood cells amount of accumulation of blood cells or formation of uh, blood cells mainly rbcs so this biocompatible gel coated at this tip does not allow blood clotting so that when blood meets here it it interferes with the saline it uh, come and meets with the saline and and when pressure is generated and then pressure wave that pressure wave generated is transmitted to this other end of the battery where other end of the catheter where the transducer is placed and it measures the pressure wave changing pressure wave uh, the systolic and both the diastolic pressure wave so shortly briefly this is the working of fluid filled catheter and when we say talk about dynamics the variation with respect to time of systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure with respect to time which is measured by this catheter is simply termed as this dynamics of the catheters which are fluid filled catheters simply so so this is the construction and working principle of a fluid filled catheter the basic things you have to know here is this is a fluid filled catheter at one end there is a biocompatible gel which prevents uh, blood clotting other end is the transducer which uh, measures the reflected pressure wave that is being transmitted through this fluid filled catheter and pressure waveforms with respect to time are being measured thank you